say these things Cause I'd like to know if you're as lonely as I am Oh jeez Todd <laughs> Sharing the night together Oh yeah Sharing the night together Todd is so ick Hey everyone, welcome back to another movie reaction. Today I am going to be reacting to El Camino, which is basically a sequel movie to the Breaking Bad TV show. I just finished recently the finale of the last uh, the last episode of the last season of Breaking Bad. It was a very bittersweet ending for many reasons. Walt's timeline, I guess, ended in a tragic way, and I assume that Skylar Sky and her family are still okay. Um, unfortunately, Hank isn't. Also, Jack and Todd and his men are all are all gone. Um, so only Jesse remains. And I, from what I understand, this is a movie about Jesse's journey after the after the Breaking Bad series. At the end of the finale, Jesse had escaped, and uh, I, I have no idea what's going to happen with Jesse. Hopefully, he finds a good life, a new life after um, after the events of Breaking Bad. I hopefully redeems himself. I cannot wait to dig into this. Before I do, if you're enjoying this content, do not forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. We also have a Patreon, which gives you early access to all of our full-length, unedited reactions. I wonder how far this, how much later this is than the Breaking Bad finale. I wonder how much time has passed. Only you can decide what's best for you, Jesse. Not him, not me. Hmm. I'm out. So what are you gonna do with all that money? Same thing I do with all the other money. Hmm. How about you, teenage retiree? Yeah, that would be nice. Nothing really keeping me here. So this is like a deleted scene that we never saw from Breaking Bad. Here you go. Doesn't matter, I'm not you. Like if you were my age. <laughs> make some conversation. I love the bond between these two. Alaska. Why Alaska? Alaska. Oh, please tell me Jesse doesn't go to Alaska. Up there, you could be anything you want. Alaska. So this is before he agreed to the identity change. Start fresh. One could. Can start fresh in Florida or California. Things right. No. Sorry, kid. That's the one thing you can never do. Ooh. Ah! Oh, okay, so we're back in the finale. Ah! Wow, he looks like a jungle man. That beard is crazy. Oh, shoot. I might want to try another path, Jesse. So this is something we never saw from the finale. So this is where Walt is probably lying on the floor. Ooh. You suck! Things like oh, it's a video game. Oh my gosh. Dust they got me. Control. You couldn't drive a two-button elevator. <laughs> you couldn't drive Miss Daisy. Oh my god, these two are too much. I kind of like how Walt got these two to help him uh, with Elliot and Gretchen. They do come in handy from time to time, and they provide great comic relief. <laughs> Dude, you lost? Who is it? Oh, he doesn't recognize him. Jesse? Mmm. I gotta get that car off the street. So I'm guessing now Jesse's gonna take the identity change. He's gonna become a new person in Alaska. Not my choice of locale, but... Oh my, oh yeah, I guess he hasn't eaten in a while. As goofy as these guys are, they're good friends. Come check out what's on TV. Watch no TV right now. Mmm. Is it true that a military grade firearm was used to carry out this attack? It was an M60 machine gun, strictly military issue weapon. Can you tell us more about this person of interest? I guess the word we keep hearing is liberated. They're a person of interest and they may have information relevant to this case. Oh no, he's having hallucinations or nightmares. Yeah, that would definitely stick with you. Oh gosh. Oh, 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 oh,
probably similar to how military veterans have PSTD. Shower make you feel a whole lot better. Truth be told, you look like you're hurting for one. Oh, well, church. Church? Yo, I got Axe Body Spray, Tommy Hilfinger. Well, did he say Hilfinger? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe don't like shave and whatnot, you know, be less recognizable. It's good advice. Did they really? What? Oh. Did they really keep you in a cage? Yeah, he's not ready to talk about it. It's incredible how much better a shower makes you feel. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh my goodness. He can't do anything without having flashbacks. Oh my god, look at his back. Jesus. <laughs> oh, dude, why'd you- Looking sharp, yo. Yeah, looking sharp. I gotta get out of here. Where to? You got a plan? Maybe. Oh, he's, he's looking for- is he looking for Saul? Or the Hoover- Saul's connection, the Hoover man? What was his name? The Hoover extract model whatever. You got a burner you can give me? I gotta get rid of that car. <laughs> Oh, we're gonna meet our um, our junkyard friend Joe again. What? Go for Joe. I love how the news is on at the, at this time. At this point, who doesn't? Joe cares more about Jesse than the um, the reward. Thank you so much for doing this, Joe. It's on the house. Aww. Good kid. He's a sweetheart. Magnets! <laughs> that brings back memories. Yo, what are you doing? Write myself a little insurance policy. All right, mind at ease. Think we're good. Whoa. Yo. Yo, what are you doing? Johnny Law is on his Whoa. way, as in here, as in now. Shit. It's kidding. Oh, he's got to get out of there now. Keys! Yo. Yo, what are you doing? We gotta get this thing out of here. Hey, you take my car. I don't even like your car. <laughs> Drives like a dick. Oh my god. Leave it near the border. Wipe it down for Prince, then hitchhike back. You take Badger's Fiero. What about this car? Ain't like the cops don't already know where it is. You tell them you drop by, the two of us smoked a fat bowl, mm -hmm. traded pink slips, then you split. Oh, he knows what he's doing. It's what's happening. Guys, I don't know what to say. Just vote. Oh, those guys are great friends, as, as goofy as they are, and they are goofy, but they're loyal to Jesse in the end, and that's all that matters. We've got about three hours to get this thing down south. I'll get her there. That right there is a clown call. Self-respecting outlaw would ever get caught. <laughs> <laughs> that's why. Oh, uh, uh, the elk come in. Let me see the keys. So they, they named the movie after the car. Hold up. Oh, he looks so different without his hat. Why are you doing all this? Dude, you're my hero and shit. Aww. He's gonna be haunted by these nightmares or flashbacks for the rest of his life. It would actually be cool if we get a bunch of deleted scenes from Breaking Bad. You awake? Yeah. Like all the stuff that we didn't see from the, from the show. You want a cigarette? Thanks. Yeah. Guy on the KOB keeps calling for rain. What do you think? It's weird small talk. I don't know. Yeah, I see clouds, but I wouldn't call them rain clouds. I would imagine New Mexico doesn't get a lot of rain. But I do think it's gonna be a beautiful afternoon. Todd is so strange. Like, what is this conversation even about? We're all alone. <laughs> yeah, it's just you and me the whole weekend. Oh, that is scary. I'd really like your help with something. It's gonna... Todd's gonna get Jesse to teach him how to cook. Try to, you know, escape. I'm gonna have to visit the little boy. Oh! So, good behavior, right? Good. I appreciate it, Jesse. Gotta make sure you don't draw too much attention. Oof. Yeah, I wouldn't want Todd as my hairdresser. I hate how Todd acts like he's this nice, innocent guy, and he's really not. Like, it's never his fault if an action gets carried out. Such a creep. Good job. There's no water in it. Some insurance thing? A swimming pool right in the middle of the apartment? That would be crazy. Can't ever get this thing on by myself. 
Watch your fingers. Oh, Jesse's thinking about just taking Todd out there. Yeah. So is that what you did it up with? Part of it. Investigating the poisoning of a Houston woman are looking into her possible connection to Walter mm, White. Lydia. Is not expected to survive. Mm. The former Albuquerque school teacher is found dead late Tuesday. The dollar is down today on the foreign exchange. <laughs> and now we go into stock news. He's going back to Todd's apartment. You better be careful. This isn't very smart, especially considering that there's a, a manhunt for him. Oh. oh, whatever he needs in there must be pretty valuable because that's a little bit of a risky endeavor. Oh, no. Oh my goodness. puts the police tape back up. Hmm. Did I hear a voice? Were you talking to somebody? There, Lou, what, what, what you up to? Bike us down at your end, but... All right, Lou. A lot of time shifting in this movie. That guy really blacked out that he didn't see you. He's just always around being nosy. I think everyone has neighbors like that. Are you like my place. Kind of pastel. I, I was thinking of Easter eggs. Todd looks like he's gained weight in this movie. You want me to help you paint? <laughs> oh, shit. Jesus. Todd. Oh. Oh, shit. You know, Who's I that? feel worse than I already do. Yeah, right, Todd. Like, you feel bad about that. You're a cleaning lady. And honestly, I don't feel much like talking about it, so... Give me a hand, Jesse. Oh, Todd dealt with her in the same way that Jesse dealt with Todd, it looks like. Unroll it. Oof. Gonna need this. Now we just gotta wait for Nosy Lou to go bowling. Nosy Lou. You want some soup? Soup? That's a weird offer. Bean with bacon. Ooh, that sounds good. What did she do to you? Oh, she didn't do anything to me. She discovered something, I'm sure. Why? That book you want to know so bad. Uncle Jack taught me always keep my money close. World book encyclopedia. Mm. Oh, she stole from him. Mm. My Grammy gave it to me. Oh, so Jesse's going back to Todd's place for the money. It seemed like a good hiding place. So your cleaning lady was stealing your money? No, but she found it. Can't have anybody finding it. She actually thought I didn't know it was there. Oh, jeez. Hey, do me a favor and put that away. Oh, is that a tarantula? Oh, that wouldn't have any connect connection to the tarantula Drew Sharp had. That wouldn't be Drew Sharp's tarantula, would it? You never know with Todd. Hmm, darn. I guess I better come up with a new hiding place for my money. They got these things called banks. <laughs> I think I know the perfect spot. Man, it would be right here. Um, nobody would ever find it. Nothing beats cash on him. That's what Uncle Jack says. So Jesse knows where it is, but maybe it's hard to get to. Oh, is he going to let, let the spider go? I hope so. Not in the fridge. Gotta be hidden pretty well, like in the walls or something. Oh, those are his parents? Are those his parents? Oh, geez. When was the last time you saw him? It was way before all of this. Is there anything you wish you could say to your son right now? Please, come forward. Son, turn yourself in. Why would he, why would he do what they advised? I mean, they kicked him out of their house how many times? <whistles> oh! They're doing this in broad daylight? There isn't a better way to do it? Oh, jeez! <laughs> 
you like someone new to talk to? Oh yeah, alright. Don't quit your day job, Todd. Can I sit down here beside What's gonna happen with this truck behind them? Cause I'd like to know if you're as lonely as I am. Oh jeez, Todd. Sharing the night together. Sharing the night together. Todd is so ick. Oh, that was nice of him to not have Jesse in the passenger seat. The way we are, sharing the night together. Todd is quite the piece of work, my gosh. Yeah. Well, that is a nice, that is a pretty location. Ooh. Everything gets buried in the desert in this movie and Breaking Bad. Nice, nice lady. No, oh, sure. Todd's just physically incapable hey, of guilt. Grab another pack, would ya? You find him? Oh. Don't get any ideas, Jesse. <laughs> what? Oh. I'll take that, Jesse. Oh, you should have, Jesse. Jesse should have done it. On the way home, I was gonna get us some pizza, some ice cold beer. Does that sound good? Because you earned it. I guess he didn't earn sitting in the passenger seat. What kind of pizza do you like, Jesse? Pizza's gonna persuade him to put the gun down. Jesse, what kind of pizza? Oh man, I wish he would have done it. Todd is such a creep. Pepperoni. Pepperoni. Mm. Sure. Jesse just struggles to hurt another human being. Oh, this. Too bad. <laughs> Although I have to admit, I do like how Jesse disposed of Todd at the end of the at the end of Breaking Bad. Todd's gonna punish him for that later. I don't think he's gonna get his beer and pizza. <laughs> you know, Uncle Jack says life is what you make it. That is true. That's probably the best thing that's come out of Todd's mouth. <laughs> wow! So he's been there for days now, or at least one day. That would suck if Jesse spent all that time and the money wasn't even there. Maybe Todd moved it, or maybe the police found it. Oh my god, that place is a disaster. Jeez. There's got to be some place he hasn't looked. Oof. Oh, what was that? Was that the money? He's got it in the in the vents or in the fridge? Didn't he look in the fridge already? Maybe behind the fridge? Oh, okay, there we go. Jackpot. Oh, shit. <gasps> Damn it. Are these police or just regular people? Oh, hey, you folks are back, huh? When you search a place, you really search it. <laughs> yeah, I got a card from one of your sergeants. I just want you to know I'm around. If you... Oh, Jesse, be careful. See, I knew the decedent <laughs> pretty well. Never really trusted him. Have business cards. Oh, oh. sorry, we're fresh out. You too, and hey, listen, if you ever get him much up, I can... I'll start here. You start in the back. Oh, shit, where's Jesse gonna hide? <laughs> And the cops might get the money, too. If the Jesse started ripping the fridge open. Oh, there's a Vanimos Pest t-shirt. Neil, they tossed the shit out of this place. What's left to find? Oh, I hope somebody frees that poor spider. Oh. oh. You be cool, and I will be cool. Showing his face. Oh, Jesus. Call your partner in here. Cash room. Do it. Hey, Lieutenant. Lieutenant, you hear me? Yeah. Actually, he did a pretty good job of sounding casual. Mm. Oh, maybe not. You find something? Oh. He must know something's up. <laughs> Lieutenant? Looks 
It's waiting for me back there, Casey. Mm. Oh, oh, shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Relax. Well, put your gun down. Let's Show me your hand. What are you doing here, Pinkman? There's something I need. What's this thing you need? I don't want to shoot any cops. Yeah, you don't want to shoot any cops. Great, fantastic. You know how many officers we got downstairs? No. They hear shooting. What do you think they're going to do? Then how far do you think you're going to get? There's only one choice here, buddy. Come on. Nobody wants to hurt you. Give up, Pinkman. Jesus is a stalemate. <laughs> oh, he's going to give in? Oh. I mean, I don't want him to kill the officers, but... Guns down. Oh, shit. On your stump. <clears throat> Are you kidding me? What now? Hey. What are you doing? Hey, how about some handcuffs, yo? You two aren't cuffs. Hmm? I was just thinking that. They're not police officers. Yeah. Get his legs! Get his legs! No, no, no! <laughs> These guys. I know where the money is! That's what you're here for, right? Mmm. <laughs> oh, jeez. I care fucking cheese you won't find it on your own. I got something that might be helpful. Detectives, everything okay? Sorry about that, sir. We're uh, dusting for fingerprints. I just came across an old note Todd Alquist wrote me. Sort of a half-assed apology he slipped under my door. That sounds like Todd. You're welcome to come examine it. Oh, it's no trouble. I got time. <laughs> Show me the money, I let you go. Hey, what do you say, huh? Seems pretty fair to me. They're gonna have to split it. Oh! Holy shit! It's more than he expected. What are you doing? Taking my half. You little man with big dreams? I'd walk the hell out of here right now. Oh! I'll shoot you, you son of a bitch. I will shoot you. Then do it already. Mm. Pull that trigger, and you are gonna have to kill that loudmouth and every other witness. Mm. Jesse figured it out. So, what's it gonna be? Three-way split, and you got your third. Hopefully his third is enough for the identity change. Yep. Don't react, just listen. Now they have to get past the neighbors. Just walking out there in public with big bags of money. Can I get my gun back? Go buy one. <laughs> oh, do we know this guy? I was wondering when you were gonna remember me. Okay, who who is this guy? Does he know he's not a cop, but he knows Jesse? Oh, well, yeah, get your get your money and run out of there. Get out of there. Oh, he's looking for all the vacuum shops in town. <laughs> Maybe this guy doesn't advertise in the yellow pages if if he's a, a criminal. but they want an arm and a leg to pay for it. I agree, it's very expensive. I'll bet I could get it working for you. Oh. The estimate's free. I may take you up on that. I just don't know why they can't make things to last anymore. That's a good point. If there's any questions I can answer, just let me know. No. Oh. Can you make me disappear? Oh, what is he gonna do? I'm open for business. Um, I'm looking for a uh, Hoover Max. Pro Max. Got like a, like a filter. Hoover products are right over there on the wall behind you. I don't remember the exact like password. All right, but it was a vacuum thing. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Four, 25, 125,000. <laughs> Maybe you have to go through Seoul. You're the guy. I am 96% yeah. sure that you are the guy, so why don't you just like admit it? Be more specific, Jesse. I just need, just need your services. All right, you got rules. I get that, and I apologize. I didn't go with you that day, and I'm sorry, but I am here now. Please. Oh, 
is he staring at Jesse like he has ten heads? You owe me for that first pickup. Yes! Oh, oh you're the guy! Wait, what? This. Oh, he's gonna like, he has to pay more? Is previously owed. Oh. Mm. Going forward would require an additional oh, no, 125. No. He doesn't have it. Shit. Where's he gonna get it? Deal's a deal. Eight. Oh, he's short. Shit. Oh, no. 22. 23. 10,000 shy. Oh, come on. You can be nice. Throw a dude a bone. That doesn't look like a lot in comparison to the stacks. Hey, 200. Oh, he's close. Hey, 200. Come on, dude. That's good enough. May I borrow this? What are you doing? I'm not going to try to collect what you owe me. Spend it wisely. It will last you for years. Godspeed to you. He wasn't very short. I mean, you can, you can help him out, buddy. That's it. That's it. Wow, what a prick. Over a measly 1,800. What an asshole. Have you been watching the news? I have. He knows who he is. Look, these people, they have kept me in a concrete hole. From where I sit, you made your own luck, as did your former partner, as did your lawyer. Is he that bitter over being stood up? I am staying right oh, here. Oh, jeez, these guys are going to have a standoff? I don't think he's going to help you, Jesse. Oh. Oh, shit. Mm. He's calling the police. There's a young man in my store, and he refuses to leave. Stop me. My name is Ed Galbraith. Best quality vacuum. Wow, this guy's such a jerk. He has no empathy. You are so full of crap. You faked it. You got as much to lose as I do. First question they're gonna ask is, what am I doing here trying to hand over a hefty bag full of cash? And he gave his name too, so... You don't just hang up on a 911 call. Mm. Stay in the line until the officers arrive. Not just on a normal police call. Seriously, yo. Pathetic. Oh, shit. Wow, you love that response time. Damn it. Take your money. At least he's letting him have his money back. So much for calling the bluff there, Jesse. He was spooked by my phone call and on foot maybe 30 seconds ago. Uh, he's white, skinny, very tall guy. Six five, six. Oh, okay. Two over his right eyebrow. A large insect. Okay, so he's not a complete asshole. Only a partial one. Best quality vacuum. How may I help you? The deal's the deal. Your word is your bond. It is. I'll get you your money. Why does he care so much about $1,800? Like, honestly. Oh, he's gonna steal from his parents? That's kind of shitty. Hello. Hey, Mom. It's Jesse. How the both you doing? We've been better. I heard you saying that I should turn myself in. Quit running and get some help. You remember where we used to have those picnics? Yeah. Do you think you guys could come get me, maybe? We're on our way. Hey. I don't know if it'll mean much to you, but you did your best. Oh, I thought you were gonna say I love you. And whatever happened with so he's gonna he's gonna break into their house and steal their money while they go to the go to the lake to pick him up. Kind of feel bad for them. I mean, they they were good people, but kind of sad that he had to resort to this. But I mean, I don't think he has a choice at this point. He's pretty desperate. Well, he's carrying enough to turn off the water. How long is it going to take him to guess the code? Jake's birthday. Candy Welding. Okay, so who is this Candy Welding guy? I don't remember him from Breaking Bad. Now then you're going to go ahead and look for the re- Oh! Yeah, exactly. How is he going to find the money? Oh, no! <laughs> oh, shit, there's lots of them. Oh, oh shit! shit. That big, yeah. big boy. Who's candy? <laughs> Seven fifty an hour, cash up front. Oh, my God! Oh, jeez. I guess Jesse didn't expect that. 
done. I've been here 20 minutes. What'd you do? I had a fish plate up here. Oh, okay. It's just we have a uh, unique situation here. Oh. He tried to grab it on us once already. I'm thinking he's gonna figure out a way to break this thing. Yeah, yeah, see? Right there. I don't see jack shit flexing. You can hang an F-150 from it. And it's going nowhere. Oh. Put your money where your mouth is? 50 bucks says he breaks this thing right here, right now. Oh, shit. <laughs> You're on. Go for it. Now! Go! Go! Jesus, these guys are horrible. Hit hard! Oh. What are you going down for? Hit it! Oh, Jesus. I believe in you. I'm so, so glad these assholes are dead. Yeah! Todd, who is this guy anyway? He's a rat. That's all you need to know. Oof. So now he's going to take care of Candy. <laughs> Jesse doesn't want to hurt the girls. <laughs> Eat your dreams, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they like they they like those guys. Oh, someone else for Jesse to get his revenge on. Uh oh, oh my goodness! Oh shit! <laughs> Hopefully Jesse can take advantage of them all being stoned. I need more money. Mm. Oh yeah. That three-way split didn't quite cover it for me. No oh, shit. You mean there was a third more and you gave it to him? When I left, he didn't even have a fucking gun. Oh, he's got one now, doesn't he? He's got two of them. Now, how exactly do you plan on pulling this off? I mean, being that there's five of us and one of you. I'm not here to rob you. Then how's this work? All I need is 1800. I'm asking as a, a favor. Seems to me this silly son of a bitch already forked over. Seriously, shut up. Why not an even two grand? Well, that would work too. And honor's all I need. Oh, God, is that a 22? Where'd you get that thing? I think it was my grandfather's. Oh, well, it's adorable. 1800. I'm gone forever. We should take more. You give this piece of shit one more dump. Oh, he's overriding him? What is he doing? Oh, my God, they're so stoned. <laughs> What is he doing? Cold out here. Oh. Tell you what, my third is in a duffel bag in the top drawer of that file cabinet. Where's yours? In my car. Oh, they're gonna do a bat. They're gonna gamble. You're 22 against my 45. Oh. Winner takes all. Oh shit. Like the Wild West. Oh my god, a, sh a shootout? <gasps> Jesus, Neil. Shut the fuck up. Jesse will be quicker because he's not stoned. Shoot! You ready? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> oh This redhead's gonna cheat. <gasps> Jesse! All right. Not that sucker. Oh! Ooh, nice shot. I knew they were going to try to cheat. Hey, don't you realize this? I got kids. Like, I give a shit. I thought Jesse liked kids. I know where you live. You tell the cops about me, and I am coming. You understand? Yeah. Go. Go! Dude, you're on fire. Oh! Oh, jeez. Well, Jesse is on fire, but in a different way. Oh, wow. Okay, so he got more than the 1800. He's gonna need some money to start his new life. I love that shot. <laughs> wow. Crazy. So much for Candy's welding shop. Hopefully the vacuum cleaner guy will be... What? Is he in the sewers? Oh, okay. He's taking a bath. Of course I miss you. Do you miss me?
What? Okay, so this must this is a flashback, but must be from season one. A lot of time jumps in this movie. I do like the flashbacks, though. We see a lot of things that we didn't see in Breaking Bad. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> that does look good. <coughs> Certainly went big with the pineapple. Only an asshole doesn't like pineapple. What? <laughs> Are you gonna eat? You really eat something. No, I'm, I'm eating. You gotta eat, gotta hydrate. The show you, you know? Yep. All that shit, yeah. I wonder if this was a deleted scene from season one. How long will it take to sell this batch? Six months. There's yeah. no one that you can think of might buy the entire amount. Can't say that I do. Your family is gonna get every dime they got coming to them, Mr. White. No matter how long it takes. I love this scene because it shows that Je not only did Walt care about Jesse, but Jesse genuinely cared about Walt as well. Uh, I miss their relationship. What about you, Jesse? I miss when they were on good terms. Nothing. What about college? <laughs> what is stopping you from going to college? Nothing, I guess. Just chemistry, Mark. <laughs> what interests you? Sports medicine? That's, yeah, sure. Was Walt hoping he said chemistry? Or business. Business and marketing. Those are good suggestions. I mean, you'd be a natural. Yeah, I guess that could be cool. Yeah. Like, get your GED, that's no problem. I got my diploma. Oh, of course. Yeah, right, right, right. You were standing right on stage when they handed it to me. It just slipped my mind. I totally graduated high school, oh dick. Oh, my God. Good old Jesse. You know what? Forget it. Just making conversation. I definitely miss the days when those two got along. Brings me back to the uh, beginning of Breaking Bad. You didn't have to wait your whole life to do something special. Aww. Is this Alaska? Oh, Jesse, is, is this Jesse going to Alaska? Wow. <laughs> Looks a little bit cramped in there, but it's better than the cage that Todd kept him in. Probably better than some of the places he slept. This is Alaska. This is Alaska. It's quiet. Figured you could use some of that. What's your social security number? 186941. Backward. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that would be hard. 81141. All right. He passed the quiz. Anything else? What is that note? I wonder if that's to his parents. I'm going to Mexico City in about a month. I'll mail it from there. Good luck, Mr. Driscoll. Mr. Driscoll. <laughs> wow. I can't imagine just starting from scratch like that as a completely different person. That would be crazy. Oh. Oh, Brock. Okay. He didn't. He didn't even write his parents. Wow. He looked a lot different then. Going where the universe takes you. Right on. Aww. I think it's a cool philosophy. I was being metaphorical. Terrible philosophy. <laughs> oh, I miss Jane. I've gone where the universe takes me my whole life. Better to make those decisions for yourself. So I wonder what Jesse's going to do now. Is he going to enroll in college like Walt suggested? Because otherwise, why would they show that flashback? Maybe just the idea that Jesse has his whole life ahead of him and he can do whatever he wants now. Wonder if we... Oh, okay, so it's over. Just gonna see if there's any any other scenes, because I sometimes I can miss post-credit scenes. No, nope, okay. Okay, no, I guess there are no post-credit scenes, so... Okay, that is it. That was El Camino, and it gave... I guess the idea was to kind of figure out, see what happened with Jesse afterwards and to basically close the book on Jesse's story. Now, I was a little bit surprised they didn't, it just ended with Jesse in Alaska. They didn't show you what Jesse became or what kind of life he started. I don't know if Better Call Saul would um, contain anything that would suggest what 
what Jesse's what happened to Jesse and Jesse's life after that I have no idea in terms of the movie um, it was really good there were a lot of time jumps um, it constantly went back from the past to the present Jesse had a lot of flashbacks and one thing I was wondering if some of those flashbacks were deleted scenes from Breaking Bad especially the one with Walt in the diner and then the one with Jay I'm wondering if those were filmed at the time of Breaking Bad and those were just deleted scenes that never made it to the show but were used in the movie. And then I think there were also some that were shot at the time of the movie because Todd looks like he gained a little bit of weight. So some of the flashbacks involving T Todd had gained, Todd looked substantially heavier than he was in, in Breaking Bad. So it looks like some of those scenes were obviously shot during the movie um, rather than during Breaking Bad. So a lot of interesting, um, when you think about the timeline, a lot of interesting things come to mind. I like how you got some, I guess, some new perspectives. You found out a little bit more. You, we dug a little bit deeper into the mind of Todd, and I, I'm not really sure I like that because Todd's a little bit crazy. I don't know. He's just somebody I... I, I didn't mind him at first in Breaking Bad, but as, as we got deeper and deeper into the season, season five that is, and in the movie, I just, I hated him even more in this movie, so he just repulsed me in every way. I, I don't know, he just, just the way he treated Jesse and the way he's, he completely lacks a conscience, he's just... He seems like a good guy. I mean, if I didn't know Todd and he came up to me, he, he would seem like an okay guy, but underneath, you know, he's, he's just rotten to the core. So it gave you a little bit more of an inside perspective on Todd. And of course, we met a new person in Candy. I'm not sure what his name was, I forget. I think they said his name, but um, the owner of Candy, who Jesse had a Wild West showdown with, and that absolutely terrified me. I thought, I didn't know how Jesse was going to beat this guy, but at the same time, he was... Candy and his friends were a little bit hyped up, or a little bit doped, so to speak. So I figured Jesse would come out of there on the good side, but nonetheless, it was scary. So the next chapter in my life or my reacting life will be Better Call Saul. I'm really looking forward to that. I'm not sure what to expect. Obviously, it's about Saul's life, and it probably, I don't know how far back it goes in his life if he, if there's flashbacks of him as a child, um, obviously with a different actor, or if um, if it just kind of picks up when he gets his law degree or starts working as a lawyer. Regardless of what happens, I am looking forward to Better Call Saul, and that's what I will be doing for the next several weeks or months, probably. I enjoyed the movie, and I will see you guys with more movies and with Better Call Saul.